I think a really good action or epic cue needs a nice synth bass pulse, just a big analog synth. Bum, 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 bum. So we can all thank Hans for that one. He definitely made it cool to do this, and it's a lot of fun to layer in with really big drums. <laughs> we get a richer fuller sounding layered drum sound so once you've you know <laughs> first you're gonna have to purchase a variety of sample libraries so you have sounds to go back to and begin stacking up and layering one on top of the other and over time you'll you'll collect enough sounds to, to you know uh, start creating something interesting but once you're beginning to accumulate some really fun sample libraries whether it's you know from damage or um, or the Epic Tycho's library, the Hans Zimmer uh, Spitfire library, wherever you get your drums from, it's a lot of fun to begin to layer them. You know, big, rich, low, heavy drums, and then open another patch, and then just layer it on top again, and then another one, and layer it on top again. But there's a strategy for building interest, sustaining interest, and then the, the, the music's still going somewhere later. And I think part of that has to do with how you build each progressive layer that stacks on top of that foundation. So the first thing we're gonna do is hear the, those foundational drums. And what I like to do here earlier in the cue is establish a rhythm, but use some of the, the woofier, heavier, and slightly more lethargic drums. Not the ones where you can tick, 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 you know, run in 16th notes on, but the ones where it's more like you know, quarter notes, half notes, boom. Boom, kind of thing. You want that heavy foundation to start building on. So here's what a foundational track might sound like. So it's bigger, slightly denser, and they can't really move as fast. But that's what you're gonna want down there on the bottom, especially when you get to the mix later. You need something dense and, st and stable and uh, full for everything else to build on. This is your foundation. After that, I like to add, an, I like to keep that same layer, but then add a slightly brighter kind of mid to low drum where instead of just boom, boom, woof, woof, we have a little ta, ta, a little more articulation. Ch, ch, ch. It's still a low drum, but there's a little bit of something in the high end. And that's what adding that slight bit of brightness to your foundation will do. So here's the next step. Hear the brights? It's a little crisper now. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. So it's not really an adventurous mixed meter here. <laughs> it's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. It's kind of like the America song <laughs> from West Side Story. Ba, 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 ba. So not terribly adventurous, but it's still interesting enough to keep us engaged. So this next part is what I call the takeoff. So now when things really get moving in that scene, now you're going to need more notes in between those layers that you started with. Dun, 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 dun. So we're going to add some more eighth notes in between these major structural beats. So here we go with the takeoff, and here's a whole bunch of taiko drums really pushing the scene forward. Good, so now we're in full action mode when we're layering these drums. And then above that, I like to add some big filler, doom, 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 uh, mondo toms or some drums like that. And then on top of that, like a quick layer of 16th notes with some sticks or some wooden percussion. So now we're doubling and quadrupling the speed of our drums. We started with big quarter notes, long, long, long. Then eighth notes da, 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 in between. Now we're going to double that again. So here's that layer of sticks and fillers. Here's the rhythmic motion. There's still eighth notes and sixteenths. They kind of fill at the end of the phrase and lead us into another repetition. So for a good action cue, and this is going to border on, in fact, it's going to cross the line into a little more of an epic sound than just a classical, you know, action sequence. And I think a really good action or epic cue needs a nice synth bass pulse, just a big analog synth. Boom, 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 boom. So we can all thank Hans for that one. He definitely made it cool to do this. And it's a lot of fun to layer in with really big drums. And when you mix them all together, that thing will sit in there really nicely. So big subby, like pulsing bass line, uh, will add a lot. 
um, to your mix. If you'd like to learn more film scoring tips like these, sign up for free, and I promise you, these lessons will help you on your journey to becoming an accomplished film composer.